it was a gun. I'm not voting. If we want to build our nation. The problem with the Somalians. Just want to experience something else than a black man. Move on, move on. like a horse with blinkers. On. Honestly, say, I was about to have Corrupt. sex and then I pulled Crap, but it's nice. My name is Lushi Antlanyana. I'm 42 years old. I'm a cancer survivor. I'm Lindy Wendoku. This is a survivor from cancer. I'm not called Nongoko. Uh, I'm here at, at Gapa as a, a aftercare teacher and I'm living with cancer. My name is Tandy. I'm one of the clinics here at Gapa. I'm also a facilitator when it comes to cancer, helping the people in the workshops here in Gapa. Do not do it like I'm not. I'm not a teacher. I'm not a the first time it was not the doctor who told me that I had a cancer. I heard from the radio that we must all lie on our backs and then we must feel our breast. And then I have done that. When I have done that, I rushed at work because I was going to my work. When I came there, I tell my madam that she, I got a cancer. And then she said, oh no, how, why do you say that? I said, I heard from the radio and then I feel myself. And now she said, don't start nothing now. We must go to Kruske straight away. Ukala kwa mku vindo bandi ne cancer. Ndanga ya mkeli because the HIV I have 12 years now in the pillar and the long one, Kakaolai. So, I go be Lula, Ogiam Gela, Kwami, to go back to the Fumansega Nakens. Dali, Daiva, Elkum, does Tolil and Dutan this week, Tolilam, but what Kuban deserves you and about what you don't run. Ban booze back ten dimyam, ten pikil. Hey, and work again, Guguda, end up and back all the losses, Vivian, but no, the Nakumilla Pebelin. We find it out that I was sick and they can't wait. I'm going to do the operation that day. And now my madam was very worried. And I didn't have a phone at my house and I didn't know how the, I'm going to tell my children because they said now I'm not going back home. I must do the operation at once. Early in the morning tomorrow I will be done. And now my madam said, no, I will go to your place and tell your children. And now it was right. I mean, I went late, but I'm a survivor because I'm 11 years now. I, I, I don't feel nothing. It's only now other things. Uh, the worst part for me, I was angry and fear. And the, the, the problem is in my mind is that what about my kids? Because I have twins of seven years of age and the first daughter, she is 21 years. She can survive herself. And what about my kids? And then I was telling myself, oh, it's okay, God. Let me die. There is no need for survive because I, I don't see any direction. I don't know where am I start. To, to survive or to live with this. And I wasn't even in my mind, not a single day to think about cancer. So, uh, I wasn't accepted, though completely, I wasn't. Yeah, I was like, I am not like 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 I am not they don't think about anything like they can survive. There's a chance of surviving after cancer. But the only thing they think is about is, is they're going to die. But uh, when they come to the workshops while Juno was still alive, uh, dealing with them on the um, workshops, they know if you go to hospital and find out exactly 
how far the cancer is. They know there's a chance to be alive again and to be cured sometimes. Yeah, I, uh, I was thinking about that. My problem is uh, if I have one breast, is that right for me? Whereas God creates me with two. And also, you also think a husband, especially me, because I notice a cancer, cancer in an early stage of my marriage. I think this man may be going to tell me, no, Sissy, it's, let's go, because I can't deal with your life, with this situation, you have one breast, what kind of a woman with one breast. All those things is coming in my mind. But at last, I was telling myself, no, it's fine. Each and everybody must have something. It can be sugar diabetics, it can be HIV, it can be... Let me accept it. I just telling myself like that. If I can take my life, and this and this banabel, and then thing as banabel, I then the thing I talk about in our bangkok, no hand to end in a lose back up because galuko, and the same way lower was why I am a bit light too because um yes, um some don't that out has a book bambil, a book bambe is nyam zang pambil. So okay, we go travel as a week and go up a little paper. Uza tingindoba magapu me lenga pan land is here up. Yo na gendo e si heti shayo tina banwa ngo ma mindo koba uvilukon ba yai ubomu kubu chinji leku so indeba leglege ngo uskale lendo koba i choice ku yubu decide to tin but wena kufne kutoa ndi na kufne nkale ndi skale lendo ba nkapse na tu bomu ba and ekbele ndi na banwa ne kan ba kuli sile ba fundi sile yonge londo. The thing I want us to continue is the workshops because there's a lack of, lack of knowledge outside there. Men are still not knowing, not, they don't know anything about cancer. There are few men who knows about, about it. If we continue the workshops, then they can support the women. Like Mama say, we have the men doesn't want to support too much the women when it comes to the, the cancer. They run away and say, I know my, my wife's supposed to have two breasts, and then they decide to leave their wives. Oh, Dad. Mama, my name is Elo, Mama. Kuba, when I'm a man, I'm a man, I'm a man, Dad. I'm a man, 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 I explain to the men and say that, um, you know what, you have to accept your woman, doesn't matter they cut her breast, she's still your woman. And you also have got the problem just because you have to feel, if you touch the balls, let's talk about balls, you see, these are also like this. If you've got no balls, you don't feel like a man. You touch and feel there's no third ball on your balls and you have to go to hospital for an operation. It goes exactly like the breast, you see. Because if you tell me, hey, I'm, my wife, I'm sick, they say I've got a like a lump in my balls, then I've got this, oh, is this going to have a sex with me again? It's the same like the breast. You have to support your wife. Doesn't matter if they're going to cut your breast. It's the same. I try to explain to them a cancer is cancer. Uh, my husband, my husband, as I, it was early marriage, I think in my mind for the first time, he pretend as if he accepted it. But when times goes, I, I understand that he's supporting me, really. He loves me very much, as more than before, or as before. He loves me very much. He tells me every day, baby, no matter we have one breast, you are my wife. 
and I'm proud of that because outside there are many women they are suffering those men or their husbands they don't accept them because of cancer but fortunately for me really really I'm happy because he support me and then in Colla, but him does our clan and survive, ne cancer, but now, can you mean is our way? Because I come to a tenga, I may look on the rain. My husband wants to come back, but I'm finished with him. I said, No, the time I was, I need you to come and support me, you run away. But now I'm all right with my kids. Now you can walk off. I don't want to see him in front of my eyes. And even my children, they don't want to see him because it was bad that time. What happened at the time when he heard? What was his reaction? He just ran away with a girl. She said, no, she can't have somebody with one, one breast. I said, no, you can go if you want. Just go because I don't want somebody to hurt me when I'm sick and my People where I was working, they support me and my children. The other people, they says, if you have cancer, you mustn't go to the hospital, to the doctor. Just go to the, the traditional healers. Where there is really, you're going to die if you go there. Luckily, when I was there in Hruske, had my operation, there were four ladies. Now I was wondering, the doctor said, those ladies, you must put their beds there. And they were smelling like anything. I wonder what's wrong. And now they call us, all of us, we were going to have the operation. They said, can you notice me that I put those ladies there, those four of them? What do you, can you smell anything here? I said, I smell a terrible, terrible smell. And now he said, do you know what it is? I said, since this lady came near me, I had this smell. He said, they are finished, these people. They are using Sangoma's medicine. What can we do now? It's late for them. It was smell. It was smelling. Yeah, they are still talking about that. There are still people talking about Sangoma. They think uh, traditional healers, they can cure the cancer. Sometimes you don't know how far the cancer is. You go to the Sangoma before you go to the hospital to know exactly how far the cancer is. It's dangerous. We can't depend on the traditional healers. Mm. You have to go to hospital and examine yourself and find out how far the cancer and how aggressive this cancer is in your body. If you can control it, the doctors can control it, you see. <laughs> That is the best at a lula. They are trail and make a pakan. Go be cancer, you know, I basha sell like a cool or that. And the babula lamazan silan of months in the go bang room to say I'm bang a wheelchair and do my best check a ail. King a kang at the eye for money, my gender at a salic wheelchair. Ah, more checky cancer. No way check a spell, lele, a con bag of fun, quia gay window is as no mama ka cool aye o cela ukuba maka check through umuntu ongidada umuntu unelungelo nelphi na naphi na unelungelo nasemsebenzini wakho nelungelo lophuma ndo check she cancer my dream is to continue with the workshops to empower the people who've got no knowledge about cancer nayiphupha la bayeke odada bathi baya bathi xa behlehlelwe hi cancer athi umuntu ndibulewe mabayeke amabulawu ayengomabulawu my dream is that <coughs> let's take care of ourselves, guys, especially on women's. Let's test our breasts. And also the community must go and learn more about cancer. 
My dream is the men, they must understand. This, this disease, the cancer, it doesn't mean it's only women they can catch, even them. They can catch it. Please, they must go and see the doctors.